Das SWR 3 New Pop Festival zusammen mit Audi. Star Talk. Hier ist SWR 3 Late Night Moderator Pierre M. Krause. Ich habe meinen Namen gehört. Hallo, guten Tag. Hallo, herzlich willkommen. Vielen Dank, vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Dankeschön, Dankeschön, Dankeschön. Hallo. Du oh, siehst ganz so süß aus. Ja, Dankeschön, vielen Dank. Das war schön. Der James ist ein ganz, ganz netter, finde ich. Äh, oder? Ist ein netter. Ja. Alle sehr, sehr nett. Was hast du gesagt? Mit Musik wäre es noch besser Quäse. Ich habe hier schließlich nichts bezahlt. <lacht> Nein, das ging aus äh, Dingsgründen. Aus Gründen der... Der Fluxkompensator war nicht eingeschaltet. Äh, und, und das war dann irgendwie ganz blöd. Äh, aber der, der jetzt kommt, der macht Musik. Der spielt auch zwei Stücke. So eins mehr. <lacht> Absolut. Und zwar ich. Diese <lacht> Stille. Da hinten ist wirklich jemand weggerannt. Ah! Vor ein fahrendes Auto gesprungen. Okay, äh, ich mache nicht lange rum. Ich freue mich sehr auf einen jungen Mann. Er kommt aus Nashville. Uh, he flew the whole, uh, the whole way around the globus uh, to be here and to, you know, uh, play some music for us. Mm, ah, you know, ich verwechsel immer, ob ich Englisch oder Deutsch gerade spreche. You know, the time in the States. Well, it's actually just a matter of fact that, you know, it's awesome. Das ist übrigens alles an Amerikanisch, was man wissen muss, wenn man da mal ist. It's awesome, it's great, what it was like und so weiter. Ähm, bevor ich mir so lange rede, bis mein Kopf explodiert, sage ich lieber den nächsten Künstler an. Äh, wir freuen uns sehr auf ihn, äh, mit ihm zu reden. Super netter Kerl, ich glaube, das wird sehr, sehr entspannt. Ich freue mich sehr auf Mickey Echo! <lacht> Great. It is uh, the first thing is, is those shoes. I had to look. Uh, the, how many? How many? How many inches are those? Uh, you're, yeah. you're normally you're just about this size. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and with, yeah. Is that? Is that? Uh, do you have to wear that? Is is it is it fa fashion fashion today or is it just your style? Um, I think it's I think it's a, a combination of both. You know, I like I like wearing chunkier shoes that sometimes the creepers, you know. Yeah. That feels a little bit punk, but you can dress it up, you can still look nice. It's a bit 90s style. I remember that in the 90s when you wore, you know, buffaloes. We we wore buffaloes or Doc Martens and some of yeah, them had yeah. those soles, very very huge yeah, soles. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you're yeah. into fashion. Yeah, I'm into fashion. And I, I always look at the Instagram accounts of our guests here, and we have some, some great pictures of you showing that you are not only a great musician, you could also be a great fashion model. I think so. It, it's, of course, part of, <laughs> part of it. Do we have those pictures from Instagram? Can we show them? Do we have them? Can we show them? Do we have them? Can we show them? Do we have them? Can we show them? Ah, we have them. We can show them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You look good. Where was Thank that? You. Uh, that was in Paris. I was there during uh, Paris Men's Fashion Week and um, uh, the Paris Men's Collection. I'm there with Julian David, who's, who's one of my personal favorites. Um, so he's based in Paris. He works in Tokyo. But he's just really good with detailing, that kind of thing. Yeah. Really love his work. Yeah. How is it on, on the Fashion Week? Uh, I, I've never been there. I've uh, been to so many events, but never on the Fashion Week because I always think that, like, you know, you can do that. <laughs> I can. No, thank you. But, but is, it, is it like, how, how long do you take to, to, you know, select your outfit when you go there? Or do you have a stylist to, to test um, that for you? Well, what I, what I like to do is just pack a lot of stuff in a suitcase. And when I get there, just kind of figure out whatever I'm feeling that day. I just throw on whatever feels good and, and, uh, and try, to, try to find some things that feel fresh, you know. Do you have a, a favorite item, like like uh, the, the leather jacket or something something that you will? I really like this wear. leather jacket. I just got it a couple of days ago. Um, it's cool. But yeah, I mean, I I like black jeans. <laughs> oh yeah, and they're very they're, they're fashion black jeans. Yeah, well, they're just simple. You know, you can you don't have to think too much about it when you get up in the morning, and and you know you can still look good. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Great, and you don't see dirt on it. Very I practical. Know. I don't know. Maybe I've been traveling for a while, wow. so <laughs> trying to keep it clean. Ich denke da immer praktisch, gell? Siehst nicht? Kannst du ein paar Tage anziehen und man sieht nicht, wenn was draufkommt. So, 
There was the, the practical side of, of black jeans. So uh, you are very, very close to your fans. When you, when you Twitter, you do Twitter, you do Facebook, and you, you I, don't, I don't know if it's you or if it's a team, an entourage, but I, I, it, it looks like it's you that you're answering all the comments and, and, and re Yeah, them. yeah, it's usually me. I mean, like, occasionally there, there are people who will post for me, but, but I, really, I really like to interact with my fans and, and talk to them online. You know, I like to know what they're thinking. And what is it in real life? Do you also talk to your fans in real life, or do you say, uh, "Please don't come near"? No, no. Well, not yet, you know. But but at this at this point, you know, I I really like um I go hang out after the show because I, I want to try to talk to everybody. And management's trying to pull me away and and throw me on the bus and get <laughs> to the next city. But I but I think that's uh, there's something important about connecting with the fans and making a family, you know. How, how do they, uh, 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 are the fans, especially in, in, in Baden-Baden, for example, are they different to fans in, like when you are in Paris at the Fashion Week? Are those, or is it all the same because they love you, they love the music, or is there something in the behavior that is different? Um, well, this would be my first show in Baden-Baden, so we'll have to find that out uh, tonight. But um, Oh, you have to find that out yeah, tonight. Yeah. But, uh, but, but for the most part, I think, I think everybody's, everybody's pretty receptive, you know. Everybody wants to, to feel close, yeah. and, and you, you feel like family, and I think that's, that's what people like about my music and, and seeing the live show. Yeah, because they, they listen to the music, they have the earphones on, and it's just for them at this moment. It's a very, uh, seriously, a very private moment to listen to music, and you have the feeling that this guy is singing for me at that moment. Yeah, well, I, and I am. You know, that, that's, that's why we tour. That's, at least that's why I tour, you know, because it, you, uh, it, it's, there's something about having that connection with people where when you get to look somebody right in the eye, you know, and, and, and sing the lyrics and the words and hold their gaze... It's, it creates a sp really special bond that you can't you can't fake that. Do you think of someone special like like the ideal fan or the ideal listener to your music uh, when when you write music when you play music in the studio for example? Uh, is it like a, a very very beautiful girl or a, a, a big fat guy wearing a beard and eating pizza? <laughs> um, you know, I think uh, I, I try to write from whatever I'm feeling in right in the moment. You know, so so when I go in, if if it is uh, that that beautiful girl, or if it if it is that that frustrated feeling, I I try to immediately go in and capture it and and write it all down as quickly as we can. Time is the name of your album. Yeah. It's called Time. Why why time? What's what's the special meaning of of? Uh, well, time? it it took time to make the album. It took yeah. it took about two years, two and a half years, and and. Uh, And, and that song was a song that really resonated with me because it, it's a song that feels really, really classic. It's the only song with, with no electronic production and, and it's uh, acoustic guitar and strings. And um, it was one that, that is deeply personal for me as well. How do you spend your time uh, when it's private, when you're not making music and doing promo and, and driving your Bentley and flying your yeah, flying, airplanes? Yeah, flying my and jets. And, and, uh, <laughs> flying jets and no, no. Um, You know, I, I, honestly, I spend it listening to a lot of music. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, know, I know a lot of musicians who say, I, I, when I'm private, I do not want to, to listen to uh, music. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't I'm know just why. an addict. I'm an addict, yeah? you know. Uh, uh, it's, it's what's in me. It's what I'm constantly thinking about it. I'm in the car. I'm making beats. And then I'll look back up and realize um, I should be driving. And <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but, I, but I think about it a lot. I really love it. Don't try this at home, kids. When you're, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, I don't, uh, yeah. you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that because you have to have uh, one hand for your beer. So <laughs> you cannot hold a beer and a cell phone at the same time. So it's true. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's it. You are a, a music addict. You, you are a, a, like in a positive way, a music nerd. You write songs. You're not just that good looking guy who's performing. You write songs. For example, you, you. you write for Rihanna. Yeah. Triana, uh, as we say in Baden Baden, Triana. Um, I, uh, that's just a story, but I uh, just uh, I know someone who named his kid Rihanna, but he's from Baden, and he really calls it Rihanna. <laughs> so funny. Okay, but that's not the story. Uh, so, are you friends, Rihanna and you? Um, I would say that we're we're uh, we're friends through that song. More. Does she do you WhatsApp sometimes, or, or, or does she call you and say, 
Mickey, alles klar. Yeah, does this dress make me look fat? Does the... No, no. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. I mean, I think, I think what was so cool about that song it is, is it's two people from, from two very, very different places and, and different times. But that's what's so important about the song is that, that there were two people really feeling the same thing at the same time. And, and that's where you connect. How does that happen? Is, is really Rihanna calling you or your management and I want that guy to write a song? Or is it you say, hey, I wrote a great song and I want you to perform it? Or you what know, is the craziest part of, the, of that story is that I wrote the song for my album and I was looking for a producer um, to, to help finish the song. I, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with it and that's when I got the call that Rihanna wanted the song for her album. And uh, I thought that it was a joke at first, so I hung up on my manager, and he called me back <laughs> immediately. Because <laughs> I was in London at the time. He called me back immediately. He said, um, you know, we really have to talk about this. Rihanna wants the song for her album. Um, and and fr from there, um, I, I didn't ever want to find out how she heard it, because I think there's just something special sometimes when, you put, when, you're, willing, when you're willing to put yourself into the universe. Yeah and find, let other people find you, that's, that's where magic happens. You know? So you really do not know how that happens? I don't know how it happens. And you never talked about it? Uh, no, I, no, and I don't want to know. And so what did you know. talk about? Just like the dress, the weather, or uh, No, well, I mean, I, ca I came in and I met her, I met her in L.A., and, and she said, hey, how are you? And, and gave me a hug, and, and we, just, we just sat and talked for a minute. She asked, you know, how often I'm in L.A., and, and, I, and I spend a pretty good bit of time writing in L.A., so we were able to talk about how nice it is in L.A. all the time. And, all the and people in L.A. say that. Uh, it's awesome. It it's great. Really nice. This is like this today, though. It I mean, is today, like this. I, I yeah. was like, oh, yeah, Baden Baden. I could, I could stay here forever. Is the weather always like this? It is. We can afford it, yeah. Uh, that's, <laughs> uh, that's what we do. It never <laughs> rains in Baden Baden. Yeah. We have some uh, Russian satellites who blew the clouds away. So that's what we do in Baden-Baden. It like, it's, like it's like a bit Hollywood style. It's, it's, it's the Hollywood Hills, you know? I mean, I've been really impressed so far. I mean, some, uh, some of the houses I've seen are quite impressive. B maybe there are some real estate managers today here who can sell you one of them. It's, uh, we have yeah. very, very cheap houses here. It's <laughs> <laughs> you can afford it. <laughs> You come from Nashville. That's, that's, that's where you're yeah, born. Yeah, Nashville. Uh, but I was born in Louisiana. In Louisiana, but I live okay. in I live in Nashville. So you grew up there or, or um, spent a few years of your childhood there? Yeah, I, I grew up in Mississippi and I live in Nashville now. So it's, I'm a southern boy. It's all over the south. Here. So we know Nashville as a, a, a city with a lot of country music stars and, 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 and such. Didn't that in influence you or... Uh, are you, uh, do, do, uh, have you, I don't know if there is a, we have a goldenes Buch, das goldene Buch der Stadt, a golden book of the city, and every famous person has to write his name in the book. Uh, did you write your name in the book, in the golden book yes, of Nashville? Yes, I, I have written my name in the golden book. There is a golden book in Nashville? Oh, in Nashville? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> in Baden-Baden? Oh, uh, yeah. We have a golden book in Baden-Baden, I never wrote my name into that? Oh, the secret's out. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought we, were, we had something in common. That know? hurts. <laughs> okay, there is no golden book in, that, in Nashville. Okay. No, there's no golden book. Okay. Well, I was, going, I was about to say, uh, because my, my conscience was feeling guilty, I just signed a book backstage, but it wasn't golden. It was black. So <laughs> yeah, I'm working my way up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> First, yeah, I got to do the black book. <laughs> Everyone starts with the black book. Okay. So, but do you listen to country? Is it, is it, is Nashville a country city? I, I've never been there. I think everyone's wearing cowboy hats and, and playing Johnny Cash songs. You know and, downtown? Yeah. That's true. Is Everyone it? is wearing cowboy hats downtown. Do you wear a cowboy hat also? Uh, no, not anymore. Not anymore. Did you? Uh, at one point, at one point I wore a cowboy hat and I had boots and, you know, they were about as tall as these, so I'm <laughs> trying to continue the tradition. But, uh, no, no, but, uh, but. Um, yeah, it is a country town, but more than that, I think it's a, it's a town that's big on family, you know, so it feels like family when you get there and, and people really embrace you and, and all different kinds of music and people are embraced. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, what's, that's what's really cool about Nashville, is you can feel different types of music alive and, 
And, you know, you come and you hang out with me the first night and you get invited to dinner at four different people's houses. And that's awesome, I think. Great. Sounds like a great city. You should come. You'll ah. eat the entire time. Great. That's good for me because, you know, look at this. I can... I have room for it. You gotta keep that model shape, though, still. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of workouts. <laughs> Why are you laughing again? I never worked out, okay? That's the truth. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So, we, uh, I will buy a cowboy hat, by the way. I, I love the illusion of riding through Nashville. I'll, I'll just send you one. I think there's, there needs to be a distinct cowboy walking through the streets of Baden-Baden yeah. on a regular basis. The sun basis. is going down, and I'm... It's just me and the city, you know, well. And those, uh, what is it called? The, the cow tabak? The <laughs> because I don't oh, smoke. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, we call it like cha or chewing cha? tobacco or dip. Okay. Do you do that? No. You know, I used to do it. Really? I used to do it and I quit. I quit. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a southern boy, so <laughs> it was natural that I tried it. But it's bad for you. You know, it can cause gum cancer and, and gum disease, so I stopped. It can know. cause cancer also because it's nico nicotine or something yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. But and you also always have that in your mouth and you're like... Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a little awkward too. It makes it, your mouth gets full of spit, so then you <laughs> have to spit and it's, it's not very attractive. So when you forget to spit, it just falls fluids out of your... Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. I know that from a Redaktionskonferenz, as we call Um I would like to uh, stop asking you a question because it gets sillier and sillier and I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want that for you because uh, we have uh, great people here in Baden-Baden and they do now have the chance to ask you something, if it's okay. I will translate the questions. We have three questions from three people and I really guess Zina will be one of them. <laughs> uh, here is Baden-Badener Fragen Stars. Baden-Badener Fragen Stars. Hallo Mickey, ich bin die Laura aus Baden-Baden und ich habe mich schon immer mal gefragt, ob du irgendwelche Macken oder komische Angewohnheiten hast. Von wem warst du als Kind großer Fan? Welchen äh, Musiker würdest du gerne ins All schießen? Auf wen hast du denn gar keinen Bock? <lacht> okay, the last question was, I miss Zina, she wasn't in there, but what happened to Zina? Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the last question was, which musician or which song would you like to fire up in space? That's what Jonas asked. Um, Be maybe uh, Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. Really? You don't like that song? Oh, no, I thought it meant like send it out into space so that aliens can hear it. Really? <laughs> That's so Just cute. for all <laughs> of the universe to hear. That's so cute. I like that imagination. And I'm so happy that it's Marvin Gaye because I love him too. And, you know, anyone... And any other person who could have said uh, it would be Atemlos from Helena Fischer and all the aliens will hear Atemlos. It would be war between aliens and Earth and it's the end of so mankind. The, or the perfect uh, weapon. Okay, so I don't want to know what, what, the, what the worst song is because you're all uh, friends, you're musicians. You love each other all. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, till... I know that Till uh, asked, who was your biggest idol when you were a kid? Oh, uh, um, gosh, that's so hard. I mean, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, it was either Kurt Cobain or Stevie Wonder, you know. That's a But great it's combination. very different. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so mash those together and this is what you get. Yeah, you, you, get, a, you get a, a blind, talented grunge guy like that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. But they're all, they're all great. They're too, I, I, I'm totally at your side. And there was Laura. Laura. Aus uh, Alschweier. I don't know if she comes from Alschweier, but I, I just pretend she's from Alschweier. Have you ever been in Alshvaya? I'm not even sure what you're saying right now, so... Me too. <laughs> But there's the, there's the Zwetschgenfest in Bühl. Uh, you should... You should... That's, that's uh, an, another big festival. It's uh, about 10 kilometers from here. It's the Zwetschgenfest in Bühl. Okay. Es ist unsere okay. größte Konkurrenz, wenn wir ganz ehrlich sind. Uh, big festival, it's great. And you get a lot of uh, alcohol there. Yeah. Okay. That's all about the Zwetschgenfest, I think. Oh, it's, it's alcohol. Okay. Uh, do you have any... Laura 
aus Altschweier, uh, is asking, do you have any quirks? Like, you know, uh, quirks, is quirks the right word? Funny mannerisms, like, like things you do and you do not want to know other people um, that you do them. You know, I, b I bite my nails, oh. which is also a very bad habit. S still? Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. bite my nails. Okay. Um, but I've been trying to quit, you know. Quitting isn't easy, but uh, with uh, perseverance. What do you do? There is some fluid you can put on the nail, and then it tastes uh, bitter. Or like something. popcorn, maybe? Yeah, or you can just urinate on your hand. <laughs> then you will never, <laughs> never bite fingernails again. Yeah, that's, that's a true. Bad idea. Don't do that. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Forget the urinating thing. Stop. Bite your nails. Um, As long as you bite your own nails and not ma nails of other, that's that'd be yeah. really that'll be creepy. Don't do that. Especially if they had peed on them. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. Did that person pee on his hands? So, machen Sie das nicht zu Hause. So jetzt wird's echt albern. Who uh, <laughs> is the, the management in the backstage? Who's that guy? Is he really the host of that show? Where's the real host? Why you lie to me at the day you came 
And why did you give me unreal dreams of Carrying to knife for my painful life Maybe I'm happy in other world Loneliness with me in the rest of my life I would have fight to be for the justice Don't underrate my power of mine I would have fight and stand by my side I would have fight and stand by my side Sad today I've been alone Walking around in the silent sound Till the end of the blurry way I felt some things blowing my ears Lonely night, my heart was beating I'm calling, calling in whisper.